Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just a little while ago, somebody emailed me a question. And I've done a video on this probably a couple years ago. And I what I do is I place diamonds and I rotate the diamonds 30 degrees and then I go back in and 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 normally when I make a clock I just use the 3, 6, 9, and 12. But this person wanted to use all the numbers and they actually sent me some they watched some videos and I'm not going to mention any names, but the people go, we'll just get it close. Um, close doesn't work for a clock for me. Now, this might seem like it's really time consuming, but after you get the hang of it, it's really not. I'm going to bring in a uh, indexing line. I'm going to hit P in the keyboard. I'm going to go Control D. I'm going to make a duplicate. It. It's already at 90 degrees, so we need to make it to 60, rotating at 30 degrees. So now you've got that. Now this seems like it's, and if you have under Snap 2, if you have Snap 2 guidelines, this is a lot quicker. And you're going to, when you're close to the center, you'll get a quadrant mark. And right there I don't know if you can see that on the video maybe if I zoom in it'll show up better let's bring in another line intersection okay we don't need one there but we need one here see this says edge but then it says quadrant we're gonna need another one there intersection another one there intersection it really doesn't take that long a time uh, you know, you don't have to zoom in. Just kind of get near your intersection. We need just a couple more. And um, I guess for the sake of the video, I wouldn't have to do them all, but I'm going to go ahead and do them all. Um, intersection. Intersection. One more. Okay, we've got them. Now, just take your numbers and grab them and it'll go quadrant intersection and I might even have to zoom in here and for the video I probably won't do the whole all of them but and maybe we'll zoom in on this next one let's bring our six and let's get it close and then watch this when it says edge and then intersection that's dead center you know let's go ahead and do the seven see i don't even have to zoom in and i can see it the intersection and we could probably zoom in a little bit more so you could see it get the i knew that was going to happen get the five and it's just going to go there i mean it, this really doesn't take any time and so I watched the link she sent me and the person goes and they were moving it with their nudge factor and just go just get it close well a clock is precise instrument and close doesn't count so then all you have to do is if you don't want to look at the guidelines just take the guidelines to uncheck it then let's move this other circle away and that didn't take any time at all to get a clock face and it's exactly dead on. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.